If you ever wonder what would happen to your body if you suffer a traumatic brain injury, trauma is the leading cause of disability and death in young adults. Today, 50% of patients who are undergoing severe traumatic brain injury survive in the advanced trauma. However, even after surviving the first inside, patients typically subside. Now, why is this the case? Um, severe injured patients have grown to develop two major complications. First, prolonged bleeding, due to a reduced capacity of the blood to flow, in combination with enhanced breakdown of already formed blood flows. And second, infection, due to the suppressed ability of the immune system to fight and gain infections. In recent years, a particular drug called uh, phenoxamic acid, commonly abbreviated as TXA, has been tested in trauma patients for the first time. TXA was associated with improved survival if administered early after the event. It inhibits the formation of plasma, the variants, and it actively breaks down clots, and therefore it facilitates clot stability. A stable clot can subsequently stop bleeding. Um, Plasma uh, is not only involved in bleeding, but can also infect the cells of the immune system. This might be important for trauma patients who are at risk for both bleeding and infection, as those patients are often um, getting in a state which we call hyperplasminemia, so increased levels of plasma in the blood. Recently published research in our lab um, investigated the effects of plasma on the triptych cells. Plasma exposure reduces the capacity of the triptych cells to induce a proper immune response, which would be necessary to fight infection. Um, so we uh, investigated this in a mouse model of traumatic brain injury and found a reduced migration of the triptych cells to the lymph nodes after trauma, the site for initiation of an immune response would take place. Moreover, those cells were less broken in the function. However, despite those immunological changes, it has to be emphasized that we are yet to prove uh, attaining the susceptibility to infection after trauma um, due to inhibited plasma information. Uh, so we are going to challenge mice with infection by delivering bacteria into the lung and are hoping to provide evidence for increased susceptibility to infection after trauma, which will be reversed by treatment with transamicus. If our hypothesis reduced to be true, genic acid might be beneficial for trauma patients both by reducing bleeding and by reducing infection, the two most dangerous feeders of trauma after surviving a first and second. 